Hello, you big ugly freaks. I am back again, and uh, you're probably wondering what happened to my old YouTube channel, and honestly, I don't blame you for thinking that. I thought no one would notice because I'm not, like, extremely popular, but people surely did. Um, they did like the soundtracks to my games that I uploaded. Uh, but uh, what had happened was little old silly me uh, fell for a nice old... Uh, a nice classic scam. Somebody... Got into my friend's Discord account, messaged me to download and test a game file. Totally believable for my obvious field of work. Um, also, don't steal my uh, two-factor authentication pin, please. Um, so, of course, I did the wrong thing. Ran it. Got hackled myself. Everything was compromised. So I did the very cool thing of deleting my email that was compromised. While also forgetting at the same time that... Oh shit, that also means my YouTube channel is gone. Great, that's okay. I'm not too uh, beat up about it. Quite frankly, that saved me from a lot of, uh, you know, early angsty teen embarrassment, uh, much how I feel about Squirm. Um, so, uh, now, <laughs> this is the new channel. Um, I do still have the old, oh my god, I'm just actually accidentally murdering a man right off bat. Um, I do have um, all the uh, music, of course. I don't mind remaking those very easy videos. That was just the OST. Um, I know people liked those uh, because I like video game music too. And that was the only reason that uh, uh, people seemed to come and harass me about it. Um, but basically, all you need to know is I'm a big dum-dum. I uh, fell for a big dumb dumb scam. Um, in fact, since uh, you know this is a YouTube video and uh, they should be longer than three seconds, I'll, I'll tell the story. I mean, I woke up one day. Um, I looked at my phone. I, got, I had a text message. It was from USPS. It said, "Hey, uh, bitch, you uh, your address was wrong, so uh, we can't deliver your thing, your package. So uh, please give us your address, um, my brother in Christ." And I said. Okay, fine. So I went to the website, started t tip tapping in my address, and I was like, "Hold on a sec. I haven't ordered thing anything in a while, right? I uh, this website, uh, although it has the green lock, the key lock on the URL, um, it does not say USPS in the URL. In fact, it was just a bunch of random gibberish. So I uh, concluded that was definitely a phishing scam, and I was like, "Whew, you know." Another scam dodged out of, like, three you get a day in this great country. Um, so uh, I got up, sat down on my computer, and I see a text message from an old, an old college roommate. Uh, he said, um, <clears throat> uh, you know, I was in classes. I need someone to test this game for me. I had to make a simple game. need someone to test, give feedbacks on it. His words exactly, give feedbacks. Um, and, you know, I, I talked to the, the person um, DMing me. Uh, this was my, you know, old college roommate's account. We've talked in the past before. He's mentioned, uh, you know, he left that college. He's, just, he's still figuring out what he wants to do with his life. So I thought, you know, he's taking classes. This is totally believable. He needs me to test something. This is totally believable. We had to do that a lot in college together. We had a lot of people play test our games, uh, play test each other's stuff. Uh, so I said, fine, I'll have a, I'll have a shot. I'll take a download, uh, but there were so many red flags, okay, there were so many. Uh, number one, the, the English this guy spoke was the biggest red flag that I even made fun of myself as they were typing to me. I should have known right then and there, that wasn't him. Uh, but uh, what I kept thinking in my head was, I just, I just survived a USPS phishing scam. There's no way, there's no possible way that in two in one day, one right after the each other, there would be yet another scam. Uh, I was dead ass wrong. Spoiler alert. Um, so I download the hoop, uh, and I see it's like an installer. I'm like, that's a little sus. You know, when we were doing this in early college days, we weren't having installers. These were just default Unity projects, default Unreal Engine projects. We, we, don't, we don't have installers. We don't use installers. So I asked, I said, what engine was this made in? He said it was Python. I was like, okay. Sure, fair enough. I never use Python to make a game. It could work this way. I don't know. 
So I said, okay, fuck it. Downloaded this thing, ran the installer. Here we go, wee woo, wee woo, and then uh, launched the EXE. Now what happened when I launched the EXE? Well, it refreshed Discord. And I was like, well, that's a bit weird. Why, why did it do that? So I double clicked it again. It refreshed Discord. I'm like, this is so strange. What, what is happening? Double clicked it again, refreshed Discord again. I'm like, well, fuck me, right? I, I messaged. I said, what's this? What's it? Doesn't seem to be working. It's uh, refreshing Discord. No response. Of course, he got what he wanted, and what he wanted was, well, uh, when uh, every time I ran that exe, uh, it uh, charged my payment method on my Discord account for Discord Nitro. Uh, it charged gifted subs. Doesn't tell me where the gifted subs went to. Doesn't tell me what account it went to. I don't know what happened to them. The email confirmation I get from Discord that says thank you for your purchase um, did not include who I sent the gift sub to. Patreon, uh, not Patreon, PayPal receipts did not include uh, who it went to. Nothing did. It was strange. Um, so I factory reset. Uh, no, I didn't factory reset my computer at this point. I uh, two-factor authenticated my Discord after that, uh, got the, uh, what do you, what do you call that? Uh, disputed the charges to my bank, all that, uh, got my money back in the end. I wasn't worried about it. It was $200, but I'm not worried about it. I got it back. Don't worry, kids. Um, so I thought everything was fine. I reset my password, two-factor authentication, uh, went to bed. I thought everything was fine. Uh, nope. A uh, friend, uh, Facebook messenger calls me. He says, are you on uh, discord right now? I said, no, I'm in bed. I'm sleeping. You woke me up, actually. Uh, so I went. Uh, well, he said, well, somebody is on your Discord account messaging other people to playtest the game, I'm mentioning classes. So I knew it wasn't you, Alex. I said, well, thanks. But also so true. Um, <clears throat> uh, so, yeah. they. Uh, so I don't know what it was. It could have been a rat, which was my biggest fear, which is why I factory reset everything, uh, got rid of my email, which is why my YouTube channel is gone. Um, all that, um, but, uh, yeah, I actually did notice that, uh, two-factor authentication seems to be absolutely useless on Discord. There's a little, like, token thing. If you have access to your account at all on any platform, any phone, any whatever, you can have these little, like, tokens that you can use to log in. If you have those tokens, you can use to log in instead of your two-factor authentication, and those are available pretty much, um... Like, even if you don't have two-factor authentication. So what my guess is, that's a, I think that's a really dumbass system, pardon my fucking French, but that is one of the stupidest things ever because it basically just renders two-factor authentication useless. Uh, if somebody gets into my account and then I'm worried and put two-factor authentication, oh my god, that's really hard to say. Say that two times fast, three times fast, maybe four times. Um, you know... You're screwed regardless. So that's really stupid, Discord. You should not do that. I don't, I've never seen uh, anything else with two factor authentication do that, I don't think. But don't do that, Discord. I, I hate to tell you uh, because I love your service, but that is one of the stupidest things I've ever seen. Um, I'm not going to blame that for my miscomings and mishaps, uh, but I think that many things could have been avoided. Uh, but, uh, it's still my fault. I'll take credit for that. I'll take blame for that. I'm not, I'm not, uh, uh, I'll be the first to admit I did something stupid. Quite frankly, I think the story's kind of fun and funny to tell, which is why I told it. Ooh, an insult goblin. That's great for, uh, prior XP. Anyway, this was the video. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm not dead. Um, and I don't post things a lot on Twitter anymore because I hate you people and I hate Twitter and I hate vegans. And I just want to work on my things alone and not spoil things. But I promise the things I'm working on are really cool. And I hope people like them uh, because I like them. And I love all of you except for one person. You know who you are. And have a good one. Uh, mwah. Uh, also, I stream on Twitch. Please watch me. I love you.